Justice and joy. Mr. Villainous Floyd traveled directly from his brother's funeral in Houston to the U.S. Capitol. George called for help and he was ignored. Please listen to the call I'm making to you now, to the calls of our family and the calls ringing out the streets across the world. People of all backgrounds, genders and races have come together to demand change. House Democrats have proposed sweeping legislation to reform police departments in the wake of George Floyd's death. That includes increasing police accountability for officer misconduct and banning police chokeholds. I'm tired. I'm tired of pain. Pain you feel when you watch something like that. When you watch your big brother, who you looked up to for your whole life, die, die begging for his mom. What we saw in Minnesota, the slow, torturous murder of George Floyd by a uniform officer was an outrage and a tragedy. What we have seen since then, millions of Americans marching in the street to demand justice and call for reforms. It has been an inspiration. No justice, no peace. Seven in 10 Americans now say Floyd's death is part of a systemic problem of police brutalizing and killing black Americans. Defund the police has become a rallying cry for those demanding reform. But the meaning of the phrase is nuanced. To most, defund the police means shifting some money from police departments to social services. But to the far left, it means abolishing police altogether. Republicans have seized on that extremist interpretation, warning of anarchy. They know it is pure insanity to defund the police. And the fact that my Democrat colleagues won't speak out against this crazy policy is just that frightening. Senate Republicans are drafting their own proposal for police reform, likely to include requirements for more bias training. But the immunity officers enjoy from civil lawsuits will likely remain intact. The two parties' competing ideas may reach a stalemate, potentially resulting in nothing. No justice, no peace! The protesters have already made clear they won't accept that outcome. They say if Congress takes no action, then voters will at the polls in November. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.